Welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about RNA sequencing. The purpose of this video is to describe the various RNA sequencing services that we offer here at LC Sciences and help you decide which of those services is right for your project. Although microarrays have proven a reliable method of gene expression analysis over decades of use, a major advantage of new RNA sequencing methods is the capability to detect novel transcripts as well as structural variations. Each RNA sequencing service consists of three main parts, library preparation, deep sequencing, and finally, the data analysis of each sample and group-to-group -group comparisons. The first and very important step in any RNA sequ sequencing project is the library prep stage. The type of RNA you want to look at, the length, and the experimental goal will determine what type of library prep and sequencing needs to be done. There are three types of library prep methods that we use. The first is a size selection method, which is designed to isolate all small RNA, such as microRNA. The next is a poly-A selection method, which is designed to isolate all polyadenylated RNAs, such as messenger RNA. And the last is a depletion method, designed to remove all ribosomal RNAs, leaving all other transcripts for sequencing. Following library preparation comes the actual sequencing. And here at LC Sciences, we sequence on the HiSeq platform by Illumina, which is the standard in RNA sequencing. Uh, we offer a couple different types of sequencing runs that vary based on the goals of your experiment. The first type of sequencing run is a 50-cycle single end run, and the second is a 100-cycle paired end run. For single end sequencing runs, RNA transcripts are read 50 bases from one end only. A 50 base read makes sense when sequencing short transcripts such as microRNA or for sequencing short tag signatures of longer transcripts as in DGE. For paired end sequencing runs, RNA transcripts are read 100 bases from both ends. Paired end sequencing is used when a deeper level of coverage is required, such as in de novo transcriptome assembly and for the discovery of novel transcripts. The third and final step in any project is the data analysis. There are many different software tools out there and we customize different workflows depending on the, on the service and the experimental goal. After passing through an initial quality filter and adapter removal, all raw data are delivered in FASTA and FASTQ format with base calling quality scores. Optional advanced data analysis workflows are specific to each of the different RNA sequencing services and the type of data delivered will differ. For small RNA analysis, the data report includes mapping of all quality reads to a reference database such as MIRBase or the species genome, alignment, classification and functional annotation of all mapped reads, biostatistical analysis, for example, differential expression analysis, heat maps, length distribution, etc. And finally, microRNA target prediction and target GO and K enrichment analysis. For the services that focus on the larger RNA, we offer three levels of data analysis. The digital gene expression analysis, which includes basic gene expression of known genes. The poly-A RNA-seq analysis, which adds the discovery of novel transcripts and structural variation information, such as gene fusions. And finally, the total RNA-seq analysis, which adds long non-coding RNA information and is the most comprehensive analysis service. Sample reports of all data analysis services are available for download from our website. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope we've provided you with enough information to help you determine which of our RNA sequencing services makes sense for your project.